Uh, today this video is not very long, but it's generally this job uh, as a, a rank administrator. You probably have to always dealing with deal with this uh, task. That's why I would give you a really quick uh, a video about it. that. Is about a drop and and disk to disk group. Sometimes you need to drop it. Sometimes you need to recreate it. That's uh, how uh, it works. But the things will be a little bit com complex than you're thinking because you drop it. You see the drop, you think it's fine, right? It's not. So before you create it, using the same disk, you have to check the database standards. So the first thing is when you do the drop or create, I mean an and one, right? You have to log in as a sys ASM. If you lock the sys as a DBA, it won't work. The really is for default. Sys ASM role is not ground to the sys. So the first thing is note. Let's see how we drop it. You set up an environment to partner to the database with the ASM database. Here's one program you got to run. The program that disk uh, name pass. You have find where is your disk name location what it is right so i run in this one generally is the you can get the information from v dollar asm disk view so here's the one the two of them when i created i found some trouble with the really is to this one not finish i try to uh, do it in the gui which using asmc to do it it's hiding there so i killed it I'm not sure it's okay or not, but this one, I did another way. I find it in this SQL side. I use some SQL code. When I create a default, they're using this name, not the name I'm using when I do it in ASMCA. So I try to drop this too and redo it again. The command is to pretty easy. Generally, drop it code. Just add a disk group, your group name. I mean, this group name. And drop the disk. This disk is in this disk group. This one. Just I show you before here because the name is not right. Oh, the seven. Sorry, it should be seven. And then. You log in, when I try to log in the sysdba, right, I issue this command, I drop it. What happening is they said, hey, you cannot do it. That the reason is that because this guy, sysdba logging as a sys, do not have privilege for sysasm. So I log in the sysasm, issue the same command, I was able to drop it. Okay. When drop it, that's not meaning job already done. So here is a script. I mean, command the SQL command you kind of are running. You check v dollar ASM operation view. You check with you to see what the standards. Say the first one where when I running this SQL code, right? You will see there's a three jobs for drop disk or end disk. The first one always build is really quick. The rebalance takes quite a long time. It shows the standards is running and this number show how many minutes it is going to run in this one. But this one can be changed sometimes. So when you see this one, there's another job is waiting, standards, right? And then period of times later check again became the one. Only one minute left. Later, this job is done. It is changing this last job running. When to finish, you select again from this view. Should be nothing. That's meaning your drop disk is already done. Take the 10 or 15 minutes sometimes. Then you can add the same disk 
to the disk group again because when you drop the job is not done you better wait you don't want to say job not done yet time to end again that makes some trouble so then when the job drop job is already finished everything is done you log in again to do this one this is your single code going to do All right here is a difference like before you use your name you name the disk name instead of the default and you add this group to this you give the path where is exam location where it is so when when i'm running this script it's done the same thing i'm going to check this standards to see there's three steps right also but this one he said I'm waiting for 10 minutes. It's running for 10 minutes. And then you're just watching it. It became one. And the run finishes zero. Wait again. This one finished. Finally, you got this guy. Okay. Let me show you exactly what happened in the, uh, when I'm doing the command in the Linux. Now let's log in first, and then when we log in, when we log in the system, right, first you set up the environment to pound it to the ASM, and then you log in the ASM CMD. When you log in, you use the command to see uh, LSDG is the one you will try to find. By now you can find, this, uh, say, this disk group called Core, right? In the core, you use this command, list disk. This is disk group, list disk group, this is list disk. When you list a disk, it gives you the, all of them, paths, ever where they are. So this tool is the one we try to deal with. Now let's go to CoBlast to see what exactly the, they are, uh, what is disk names, also paths. So, and then we can check it. Here's the script I'm using. We should check standards, right? Check operation standards when you end or drop disk. So this one I try to get uh, is uh, here is the problem looking to the, this one 06 is when I created I found some trouble with the I, I killed the job I'm not sure it's right but this one's name is not right I uh, using SQL code to end it so it the full name it pick up from here so I got to change the like the others so this is the task I'm going to do now let's see Okay, the command is very easy. The end is group core drop disk. This disk dropped from this disk group core. When I issue it, because I log in as a sys, as a sysdba, that's the reason why you cannot do it, because sys do not have privilege. That's a role called sysasm. So we have to log in sys as us this ASM. When we log in, and then we can issue the same command like we did before. So let's see the file is uh, 007 should be. We drop it again, it should work. So the command is finished, but actually job is not done yet. Let's see the standards or what it is. We're logging the ESM database now. This is 60 base fine. So we're looking for this program I made before. Show you that one. It's called uh, Check ASM Operation. By now you see it is running the second step for nine minutes. So I have to wait. Uh, I will cut this view. When I finish, I will 
continue to show by now you can see this uh, second one is the only zero minute less than one minute is meaning and the next one will be running is the, is the still waiting compact just to keep going running this one to see what is going on and then until it is finished so usually when you drop disk uh, is uh, the background process running then uh, take you probably around like uh, 10 or 15 minutes long it's not like a really quickly finished by now it's finished because when you select from this view uh, nothing is there okay now the next one we are going to do is to try to do the pull this uh, disk back to the disk group the command is very easy you just say you gave a disk group uh, name uh, and the disk which one you pick up right name it also really quick but actually it's not finished but we got to check status again to see what is going on here he said you're going to run in for nine minutes the second step first one is done for a period of time later it really quickly is to you see it by now the first one running it finished I'll uh, cut a video make it shorter because I don't want to stay too long hope you like it uh, this video it's really quick because it's a task is easy but you probably just rank DBA you have to do it uh, every day not every day but several days when you do not have space, uh, space you are going to uh, look into how to do this so this is a daily job I hope uh, it will help you to do something